Good afternoon everybody, it's Denise here, Denise Junk Journals UK. Thank you so much for joining me. Now I'm saying good afternoon because it's afternoon here. Um, it may well be morning if you're in the UK when this video airs. Um, so I perhaps should just say hello. Um, let me move these off my desk. I didn't intend having all those there when I started. I've not got myself organised at all, have I? Um, so it's it's the Sunday video that I'm about to film. It is Scrappy Sunday. It's not Sunday, it's Saturday. I was hoping to get this film done on Friday, but I didn't. So um, yeah, I'll still be in advance if I do it today. So it is um, Saturday afternoon. It's quite um, overcast and um, darkish, I guess. So um, I'm hoping that's not making the video too dark. So this is the scrap box. It's as an it's day tidy and there's not an awful lot in it, to be honest. Now, the kit that I'm working on that's Tanya's, there are a few scraps in here, but most of it I'm, I'm still working on it. So it's in that box. And the kit that I'm working on of um, Tina's from Shabby Dabby Doo Da, um, hers, you know, um, I'm still working on that. So the scraps from hers, again, there's a couple of bits, but nothing much. Um, you know, if they're just tiny scrappy bits, I should chuck them in here. They're still in that, um, you know, kit box. But I have got here, whoops, what haven't I got here? In this box, if you remember, I have all my scrappy bits of um, coffee dyed or backing paper and things like that. And I think we might be, in fact, I might as well just take them out and put them because it's a big box, this. I do expect these scraps to grow and grow. Um, I'll close the box and then I won't send it flying. So I'll be expecting to use in some of these today. Wasn't very good English, was it? But you got the idea. And whatever's left in here mixed with them. So um, I'm going to fill this journal cover that I've got made. So as you know, I like to sit and play with fabric and sew and what have you. And I've got quite a few journal covers half made or, you know, to this, to this stage, but nothing more done. But this is a piece of um, old quilted fabric from a quilt I'm guessing it was cut in pieces when I got it and it, is, it was just pink on one side and green on the other this one um, so I just covered the outside with a you know a pretty old um, sort of chiffon effect it's not chiffon but chiffon effect blouse and um, put some some bits of lace not too much on the outside and um, stitched a couple of lovely lace not lace um, fabric pockets with some lace on in the top on the top and that's about it just sat and played with it um on one of my you know my many crafting little sessions in here so i thought it would be lovely to to fill with um pages from the scrap box wouldn't it it's a lovely scrappy make so that's why i'm saying these will come in but obviously i want to use mixed well i don't know about well yeah mixed in with those but let me put them over here but i do want to use up any um you know, digitals that are sitting here, not these little scrappy bits there for collaging. Um, in fact, there'll be all sorts in here. So let's have a, a bit of a, a tidy out, shall we? Um, and I'll make a pile of things that, you know, potentially can go in here. So I want about 13, I suppose I could make it a, a fatty, couldn't I? About 13, 15, shall we say, pieces. Um, I'll just put on here anything that can go so you know like that could go in as a page whereas that couldn't go in there as a page so these are my scraps over here scraps and other things probably can't see can you these are things that can possibly go in now these I've put in here from my other box um, because they're very very thin papers these these are I think these are the collage papers that came from the I believe your creative studio so they send lots of different they send sticker papers and thicker craft crafty type papers and these are the thinner ones so i think these are ideal for collaging so that's why i've put them in here so for when i collage it's a piece of my wallpaper border that's a misprint that's from the dark days kit i put some of these in here so i'd use them up and um, because they're just literally sitting on the shelf Actually, it's not a bad size for a page in there. So, you know, we could fasten a couple of them together. I'll fasten one. I've pulled the blue bits out the back of the... It's a English to Spanish um, little gem dictionary. So, yeah, they could be pages. You know, single pages can be put together. That would make a page. So, I think this was me. Oh, yeah, just had some fancy papers. I don't think I did this with you, did I? 
So like I had some little bits in the bottom of the box. Now I'm pretty sure I didn't do this with you. And I just stuck them onto, um, ooh, I didn't know that was a double. That can stay as a double actually. Just stuck them onto some book page really so that they can be used rather than just sitting in the bottom. So there's a, just a small piece of piano roll look. So I just tore it in or cut it into three and just stuck it on. Um, yeah, some lovely vintagey book pages. So let's just let's put a couple down because they could be and the rest not obviously everything here is not going in there can do that well it can i was going to say it's a bit thick but yeah so these are from the dark days these could get well they could go in let's put everything there that can and then we'll make a decision so that yeah these are all big enough that was a piece of whatever that is let's go with that green one so this is shiny William Morris um, I haven't used any of this for ages have I so let me just put in stuff that's not so I've got loads to choose from there move that out the way um, but I think they all are you know quite full on so I'll maybe choose what shall we have shall we have let's have six out of here and seven out of the other one no let's have seven out of here and six out of this one so i would like to use some of that so one two oh, that's more of a plane i'm going to put that in there and digitals are what i'd like to use that's why on the back so i'm going to consider that collage um no that's why on the back but i would like to use it let's put it there three no they can be cut out actually Choose one of these. That one. Four. Not going with that. Not going with that. Not going with that. I think we'll have that one. Five. I only wanted six, didn't I? So I'm halfway down it already. I'd definitely like to use some of that. Um those could be put on pages. I'd, li I'd like to use a couple of these, so I'll take two of those off and put them in the pile. That is a mis misprint. Be good for fussy cutting that one. Um, I think I might make a smaller one as well. Not maybe not today. Okay, so I've got that down to a small pile, <laughs> and then what do I want? Six or seven out of here. Let's have a look at the size. I think that would make a nice one. Not that because I put it in everything. Um, yeah, two. I'm not going with those book pages. It's beautiful though they are. Oh, this was my my attempt at. Um, it's quite thick, but go on. Avocado dying, and that is my pink pages. I think I might. I've got too many going on now. Let's go with that one. Oh, and that one, right. These can all go back in that big, big, big box and then I won't, I won't lose them or throw them on the floor or whatever. So I've, I've still got too many. I always try to open it the wrong way. Still got too many pages there, I think, so I'll have to whittle them down a little. Um, I think I want all those. Like that. We've got a bit of a green theme going. Well, it is green on the inside, actually, this. So um, I'm going to put that one back for now, just because that lady really wants to be that way on, doesn't she? And she's taller, really, than that. So one, two, three. I've gone grungy by the looks of it. There's not very many digitals in there, is there? It's all grungy, but I was counting. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight nine ten eleven and i was going to say 13 so let's see let's see what we're like so i'm going to separate this oops it's got like glue on it there now that's going to hinder cut, just cut the edge off that's got that big thick glue on it and then i'm going to stick it together <laughs> with some washi i think in this instant 
yes. Um, something bright, I think. Ooh, that's bright, isn't it? It's red. Ooh. Just wanted something to show up against the book page. <laughs> Come on now. Yes, I'm going with this beautiful red one. It might it might show, it might not. It depends on the where it is in the signature and how thick the journal is. Is that thick enough? Probably not. Trust me. I meant long enough. <laughs> so I hope you're all well. We've uh, we've had a lovely lazy Saturday where I've just popped out for a coffee and a quick look round a couple of charity shops but nothing nothing major we, I didn't I bought some CD wallets plastic ones that's all I think oh, I bought a little packet of um I need a pin a little packet of oh, what do you call them that you I can't remember what they're called now just a little cardboard pieces that you wrap your uh, embroidery thread round. I don't even know if they've got a name now. I'm sure they have. Oops, let's try again. Yeah, so I bought, bought a little, little packet of those because I've got quite a few embroidery threads that are starting to get a bit tangled in a, in a pouch that I've got them in, so... I thought for, I think they were 49p or something like that. I might as well sort them out. Bought some, uh, I'm really into navel oranges at the moment. I'm loving them. I don't know if it's, you know, they're in, in season particularly, wherever, wherever they come from. I don't know if they're Spanish or some other hot country, but yeah, they're lovely at the moment. Um, so we went and got some more of those. A couple of avocados because the market was on we've been to a local a nearby um, town not our town yep and i'll just fold it so it's ready to go that'd be nice something different in the book let me put this in before i do any more yeah, so I, I say collaging is an easy way to use up scraps. This is even easier if they're square, just folding them over and making them into book pages. I need a bone folder, don't I? Yeah, so as always on a Sunday, nothing to tax in for the brain or um, complicated in any way, shape or form. It's nice, gentle crafting. Let's cut this up because I definitely want a piece of this on it. What kind of what kind of size page do I want? If I want them all inside, that's kind of very nearly perfect, isn't it? Is that one too big? No, that one goes in as well. So let's. I'm just going to measure. Yes, <laughs> yes, I'm measuring. It's not like me. So nine centimetres, three and a half inches is about one book page, I should say. So that's like 18 centimetres, isn't it there? Or seven inches. Out there, I'm just going to tear it, you see, rather than, I don't want them all neat at the edge. And I'm going to leave that branding strip, well it's not a branding strip, there's no brand on it, but you know what I mean. And the hole because I like it. <laughs> Wish I'd torn that side, now I'm going to tear both. It's just, it's a very, very square piece of, oops, went in quite a bit there. <laughs> so that one can go back in there to live another day. Um, it may be that I do another one of these off, off camera this week, so there'll be even less in there. Right, what am I down to? Oh, I've lost one. There it is, three. <laughs> That will just fold over, I'm sure. And fit is what I meant. Obviously, it will fold over. <laughs> there we go. Yeah. And the same with that one. Oh, that has got a little ever so slight shape of that. So let's put this one in first. You're going to be too tall, aren't you? 
Now, do I want to actually cut that? I might not put that in. So I might be going back in for a couple more pieces. I'm sure I will. So yeah, I'm not neatening the ends up or anything. I like the, you know, un uneven edge. Right. Um, no, I could just fold that one over a bit, couldn't I? That would be a good idea. Is it straight? Probably not. Let's do it that way. Yep, lovely. This is going to be too big and it's really thick like um, cartridge paper. Or, In fact, I think half of that would do. So if I fold it in half and tear it because yeah, it really is thick. Must be watercolour paper, I'm guessing, that I've done that on. And then in half again. That's, that's a perfect size. Right, you're going to be too tall. Um, I could fold it over, but I'm going to tear the top off. That top piece will be used for collage. Yep, lovely. Oh, so this is out of the book, not from my calendar. Right, we've got that natural, for some reason, bend there. And actually, it's not far off. Let's use this one. It's not far off a page size. I just don't want to lose the horse. Is it a horse? Oh, no, it's a deer. I think... You know the feet. I want to see what it is, even if it's, even if we're seeing it sideways. Although it's got no head. No, I'm not going with that one either. So that's three. I'm just going to have some of this less bright side of this because <laughs> that is very bright. It will get used. But... Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and there's not a digital amongst them. So, <laughs> well, there is one, isn't there? Let's go back and see what we can do about that. Okay, ten. That might brighten it up a bit, that pink, actually. Let's see. And that's the same as that one. So we go for that, eleven. Okay, we'll try it at eleven and see. What I am thinking is, where is it? Right under all that. I could put a page of um, embossed paper. Or I've got embossed scraps here. Let's see what we've got in here. That's not embossed. It'd be nice in there though. Let's go with that one. I just want some embossed paper that. Oh book page it's embossed let's let's try that then then i'll have to go into that other box okay they're all scraps that's a scrap box as well it's a scrap box for embossed pieces although i don't know how you got in because you're not and i don't want the brand strip on that one that's just scrapbook paper but it is pretty i lost me yeah I can see this being too thick and me having to take some out, can't you? No, we want a chunky. I definitely want a chunky. So, right, um, this pattern goes this way, so let's tear it up. Yep, nice. Out there. Oops. And same with this one, we'll have the lines the right way up. Somewhere here. And across. Right, let's see what we've got. I mean, this one, like, you know, the other lace ones from last weekend would be lovely with all the pink and white in, of course. But what 
what we've got in our scrap box is grungy <laughs> so that's what we're doing we've got a pop of color so let's let's pull the color pops out i've got four and um three book page so we'll call those the color pops and these the grungies so try and separate these grungies up a little bit so what do we want to see when we first open it up i really do like that i'm gonna have to take it down a little bit but i really do like the I've fallen in love with the embossed papers again at the moment. Possibly. What other bright? I mean, we could go with the pink or the white. No, I'm going to go with the white. I like it. So let's have a grungy next. And then I'm going to go... No, I'm going to go purple. Oh, needs a bit of um shall we do it now shall I stamp or let me just do the edge stamp or what's the word stencil stamp or stencil so I put some of my new Tim Holt stamps on it because you know now, I did carol, thank you. I did get a big block for it. And I've put it away, and so I'm going to stamp without it at the minute. Although these are, are nice and easy to... Shall we use this one? Stamp without a block. Um, I've got a new colour weathered wood, but I don't think it'll show up nice on there. So I'm going to go with the good old walnut stain. Um, so yeah, I've got a big block for these and I've got three smaller ones. I want to uh, mask it a little. So what shall I do it on to? That bright pink one, where's it gone? Oh, that one. That'll be a nice one to stamp on to. And then I just want a scruffy piece, an oddment piece. Let's use that. So that one so I can go off the edge. <laughs> Ooh, crikey. Sit like that. <laughs> and this one so it I can make a not very straight piece like that. My mum would sound like a cow handling a shilling. <laughs> oh dear. Okay, I enjoyed it anyway. Right, let's get rid of all the bits that that took just to get a bit of stencil on it. Oh, pretty. Right, where was I? You were next, were you? Can't remember now. I think you were. Then I was going you, yeah. Um, mm -hmm. Shall we go with that one? That one, I'm just trying to put completely different things together now. Planer. Music. So right way up, yes, that way. A few near the top then. And you further down. No. Oh yeah, grungy and grungy together there. Let's go with that one. It's completely different, isn't it? It's very soft, this drops paper. And then I'm going to go with this bright, really bright daisy one. I was going to say it feels like this too. <laughs> well, would you know it? In the middle. Oh, it's not double-sided though, is it? No, I wanted that pretty colour in the middle. So let's get a stencil out on that one. I'm just going to go for my good old... Um, yes, swirl, twirl, swirl, and I need a, a dobber. So this would be a good time to... Which one shall we, Which one shall we remove that one? Do I have a look at the weathered wood? So let's put a new dobber. Oh, I've got two in that one. A new dobber on. So that's got 
two colours on that. I don't know how that happened. Anywho, it's got a blue thing on it, so it should be blue. Maybe that's two different blues. They're very different though, aren't they? So, shall we do the same again with this? And No, not that. That's a page. This. <laughs> and create some... Well, this looks like a kind of grey blue to me, but as you know, everybody sees colours different and a lot of people see them different from me. So, And I have still got colour on my stencil, so it will it will come through when I use it, the other colours. Mm, quite like that. I'm going to do a real strong one up the middle of it. Because it will disappear into the... Yeah, there's a bit of a metallic coming through from the the silver that I dubbed on last time. Yeah. I didn't need that. Nice. Okay. Yeah, I like that colour. It is hard to distinguish. To describe, I should say, what, what colour it is, but I like it. Yeah, well, that's it. Okay, so took, took a little bit more effort than I was expecting, but nothing that wasn't enjoyable. And it certainly didn't take any time. That is the front, isn't it? Yeah. Excuse me, get up in. Let's sew it in then, shall we? I think I might have time to make another one. What colour? What colour do I want? Shall we use the pink? I have used pink for a long time. Lovely. So I need... Of course it's cloth, so it's not going to be easy to um, get back through the same hole. I'm just getting my thin... Needle with a point. I'll need a needle with a point to get through there. Um, I'm wondering if to just do a two hole. It's not very big, is it? And it would be much easier to just sew it top and bottom. Just put it through once. Hmm. What do we think? I mean, it's quite chunky though like to get it through three times if I can. Okay, let's go for three. Let's see what we can do. Try and keep it in one spot, I don't know. Okay, let's just go for it. See, it's going through this way and putting the needle through will be easy because of the hole here through the papers and this this point will just go through the fabric. Um, coming back not not quite not quite so easy but doable but the hard bit will be getting it back through the hole in the middle. <laughs> but we'll give it a go. What's the worst that can happen? Just have to undo it all and find a different way. So that won't too bad. And I don't expect this will be either. This will be the, the tricky one, I believe. Or not, who knows? Who knows? <laughs> okay, so I think I'm going through there, no problem. It's just getting it through all the papers now. I'm through some, so where am I coming out there? Put a little hole in my paper. Oh, we're back through. Oh, I pulled it out. Would you believe I pulled it out? I was right where I wanted to be as well. Where am I? I think I'm still there. I just don't want to force it if I'm in the wrong space. I 
Let's pull it through and see. That's the only way I'll know. Right, if I pull this, yeah, I've gone through, but we're all right. It will separate here. Oh, right. That wasn't quite as bad as I thought it could end up being. Lovely. Pleased I did the three now. But let's make sure. I mean, it's only a tiny little. But it's a bit more secure, isn't it? Let's make sure it's nice and tight, though. Before I sign off on it. Oops. Because it's got quite a... Yeah, that's it. That's lovely and tight. Oh, yeah, yeah. Ooh. Because it's got quite a what? It's got quite a thick um, signature. That's what I was trying to say. Okay, let's put those out of the way. <clears throat> I'm being too rough with it at home. I hope I sewed it in the right way up. Yes, I did. <laughs> I thought I had it upside down then. Yeah, it's quite a fat um, middle because I've got so many papers in it. Okay, didn't do the back ones, did I? Just checking that they're all through the actual spine of the page and I haven't gone off piste or made a huge hole. I think we might get a chance to decorate it. We've only been half an hour. Is that the middle? No, not quite. I think that might have gone just slightly off. It's nice and tight. I think it's just that I didn't go very high up. I probably should have gone right up here. But it would have been like that if I'd only done two. Oh, it's a cutie. It'd be nice with some lace around it and um, holding it close, wouldn't it? Have I got any? Excuse me. I did have some, I just don't know if there's enough, enough left on it. Oh yeah, that'd be perfect. It's just modern lace, it's not. Not antique or anything such. But it will hold it closed and add a bit more pretty. Yeah. Okay, shall we put some decorations in it, do you think? Think we've got time haven't we right what have i got here um got these lovely st um, stickers that came from tanya that has like strawberries and these are nice don't really go with any kit no it's not april that i've got at the moment but they will go in here i don't think we want any that say no no it's not a word i like <laughs> Okay, so we'll put some of those in. Um, shall we have a couple of these stamp stickers in? Oh, I've torn that one. Tore through the perforation. And then in my scrap box, in as it's a scrap day, I have been keeping, sorry if I knocked you then, um, yeah, like the desk sweepings and bits and pieces that I'd like, I'd like to use up. So what have we got in here? with this I've got some little bits and pieces in here oops little clock well I think they're from Tina okay we've probably got enough there don't you to to make it pretty pretty journal out of it. Might put a pretty bead or something on that as well. Okay, right, let's not be too long because I don't want it to be a huge long video, but seeing as we've got time, we'll have a look at something. 
Right, what do I like on the front? Oh, we want something tucked in here as well. Um, where are those? Where are you? Oh, they're, they're in here with this. So I've got some Tim Holtz, um, yes, journal cards. So we'll put one in the front, one in the back. I mean, they're all going to go, aren't they? Let's face it. Oh, that's nice. What have you got on the back? Oh, yes, you've got nice journaling on the back. So we'll have that in the front and probably a ticket with it. There's one with a nice rose on it and pink. And we'll have you in the back then. Lovely. In fact, we might have that in the back as well. But somebody will enjoy sticking that and using it somewhere. Or... Got quite a big hole, I'm not going to cut it all out, am I? Maybe I could stick another one over it. Hmm. Oh yeah, there it is. You know, a smallish one. That's a little one. You can still see the brown on the outside, yeah, we'll have that one. Uh, ring reinforcement, that's what it is. It's nice. Shall we have some more weathered wood on the back? Yeah, so it's nice and white, but it could be it could be journaled on or used for a little note or some such. Oh, we need to be on this side as well. too big. No, it'll go corner to corner and stay in. Um, there's that lady in there then. So we filled the pockets. Now it's just a little journal or just a little notebook so I don't want to fill all the, the spaces that can be can be written on. I think a little tab might be nice. Perhaps not on the first one though. Let's glue that down. A bit higher. That's it. I've got here some more little pink. Again, they're on white, but that one's pretty, isn't it? And again, these are from Shabby Dabby Doo I've been working on um, Tina's DT, which is why they're all here on my desk. <laughs> And um, I can't remember what kit this is from. This is from an old kit. So it is just white on the back, but it might not even stay in there. But it's pretty. Oh, are you going to? No, you're not, are you? Awkward. Um, yeah, I think I might have a tab on that front page. So we'll leave that there. I'm thinking one of these lovely... Um, Not sure they go with this purple here. We've got a blue clock. This would, wouldn't it? Just takes a lot of the the space up. Got a lot of white on it. Could kind of go down as a a sort of mini side tuck. You know what I mean? <laughs> Haven't got a clue. So a bit like a belly band. I've stuck it down like a belly band, but it's on the edge of the page, so this can be written on. But um, you know, something can go in there. Not those because they are a sticker. But what about a real stamp? I've always got plenty of these to use. And the biggish ones. Oh, that's a faux one, but it's nice. The biggish ones don't get used up that very often. What's that? I have no idea, but it's very pretty. <laughs> My eyes just won't tell me what it is. Right, don't attempt to put that back. We've got a couple of stamps in there then. Um, I would like a, a ticket, of course, I would a label. I always say ticket, don't I? You know what I mean. 
I'd like a little plainish label on there. That one's nice. Goes with the bottom of the page. Yep. And ink it. So when you're watching this, we will be. We've decided it's been such a nice day weather-wise today that um, we're going to risk the car boot in the morning and then we will go on to the, um, the antiques, shops, stalls, whatever, afterwards. I love that, that we uh, stamped on. And th there is still plenty of room for um, journaling on there. I've got this little piece. It would make a nice little note as well. I suppose we could put that on with um, a little paper clip, maybe some some lace on the end of the paper clip as well. Piece of this, this is vintage. Um, shouldn't be cutting it with that, Denise. Vintage what? Curtain, I think, lace curtain. I think. Um, yeah, this end. <laughs> I have to think about it sometimes. Which end to tie it on. Oops. A little bit too long, maybe, because we're a bit weedy. Okay, so that's an extra piece of note making. I love the lined on there so yeah maybe we could just have a little no we don't like it but I saw that there and thought oh upside down strawberries now of course you could write on this um, I believe it's decorators paper a lovely strawberry sticker that you could also write on and if you had a dark enough pen, you could write on the over the writing as well, or you could draw or stick something to it like that. Um, you're nice for writing. You're a little bit shiny. And what we're going to do here? I don't want something on every page. That's the thing. I think I want something on this because it's. Um, you know, the book page. What else have I got in here? Oh yeah, what about another label? A big one. Or big-ish. Nice bluey green one there. Yeah, that's nice. Nice pop of colour. nice paper that as well yep so journaling can can happen on there to some degree um hmm, i don't dislike that got a tiny bit of glue on the end of my nail Wouldn't let me do what I wanted to do. Yeah, I like that a lot, actually. Okay, so try and leave some space, Denise. What I will do is have an odd... Oh, what about a squirrel? This is a new one from Tanya. Have an odd little stamp, so... um. Yeah, I'm going to, bear with me, I'm going to reach beyond my comfort zone. Get some stays on. We'll have a little squirrel down here, so I'm going to stamp him on the back of this. Just to see how he stamps. Old Cedric. looks faceless there so let's see if it was just the way I pressed it was good job I tried it on there first so I'll have him down on the ground now probably should have put something behind that look I pressed so hard 
I've got the outside of the um, the corners of this, which I shouldn't have done. Should know better than that, Denise. Could actually draw it into a a box. Where's the little? There we are. I'm just going to leave it now because we don't know who owns it, what they're going to do with it. <laughs> um, me dry, blew everything, come back. Didn't I have some little, didn't I get anything at all out of that little daisy box? I'm well, sure I did. Oh, because I've forgotten went and got that. I'm thinking of these lovely faux stamps. They're pretty, aren't they? I don't think that needs anything at all. Um, yes, now they're nice on that page with a green background. Again, it's fine for journaling. But this will just give it a bit of a pop at the top. <laughs> there we go. I'm rattling something again on my desk. It's time it had a bit of a, a square up, I think. Oh, that's nice. The gold edge on it and everything goes really well on that paper. Who'd have thought? I'm not going to do anything with that. Um, somebody might want to tear it out and use it. That is nice for writing on. Maybe just something down the edge. What shall we? Shall we stick some? I was thinking lace. Shall we stick some lace down the edge? Just, I'm only using up scraps, so I'm only using up whatever I've got on my uh, desk, really, in theory. So I've not got much. Make a nice tab, wouldn't it? Bring it over the edge. Or would we like it that side? No, I don't want it over. Yeah, I think I'd like it that side, so we're going to fabric tack it, which... Oops. I'm going to have to be careful not to overstick or not stick the pages together when I move it, you know, on. If I can get a bit on there. It's not heavy weight, so it should easily hold it. Yeah, it's pretty from that side, yeah. Definitely wet glue there. And I haven't got my lid on that, but I'm thinking this is it a bit big, do you think? Maybe. Maybe a little bit big. Let's take another drawer out. <laughs> All stickers in this one. This is the original sticker one I was in. Oh, I never did ask Tanya about these butterflies. I think they must just be to stick down, you know. Ooh. Not today. Today's not its day. Oh, that's nice. Shouldn't be in here. You know, I've got some little tiny. That's cute. Okay. Yeah, that's nice with the the background that's going on. Right, how long? Have a little bet. How long is it going to take me to to get the washi off the plastic? Oh, I had a bit of determination. Did you hear it in my voice? <laughs> now you can write over washi tape. I've discovered. So you know, should somebody want to write, actually on that page and it goes on to there it will be absolutely fine okay let's stick something in there oh you're pretty do we want anything on you doesn't matter which way up those flowers go it does now that would take a whole page up that's the thing but I quite like it well, unless we made it into a tuck Let's do that. So that on there. 
and then kind of and it's only paper one I'm not backing it I'm making it strong or anything because it's not a real strong heavy spine or what have you on the book so let's put that on there and then we want a little piece of paper in it and we put plenty back didn't we so um It with the lady on maybe this maybe this um fancy bit down here so leave her leave her be that's it and just ink the front bit where i've ripped it nothing major and then we'll fold it into a three i think yeah What a cute, cute bit of paper that will be. Sorry about the rattling. I think it's because I've got drawers open. Lovely. I'm going to put some beads on there. Right, I bet time's getting away from me now. It is looking. I've only hit the middle. So let's move it a bit. What did I put that one on? I put that on this, didn't I? I was going to peel it then like a sticker. Lovely. Leaving that and that. Or oh, maybe that was the one I had the daisy on. I think it was. Still on the back of a sticker. Still want you on something. Still want you on something, but none of you are for here. Maybe this then. At the top, yes. A bit of mindless crafting now. Mindless speed crafting. so lovely to make i'm going to end up with a room of these soon if i don't start putting them on etsy or something um i wondered why that had the colored edge on then it's that yeah i'm just gonna put this sticker down here because i love love these stamps it's a stamp sticker <laughs> come on let me in Shush you. <laughs> uh, yeah, and it's a rose, of course. I love a rose. Yeah, beautiful. Just thinking one of these would be nice on this. No, maybe here so that it shows under, yes. That's it. Yeah, it's definitely the drawers that are open that are rattling. Oops. He only put it on his side. It's a strawberry plant as well. Lovely. I like that. I might like a bit of a little bit of lace down there. Now again, I'm giving myself a bit of an issue with the glue, but these things have to be done in the name of creativity. I just headbutted the arm that the camera's on now. It was very cold. Which way do you go? Yeah, I was right. Um, what can I put in there? Oops, a little bit of book page. It won't take a minute or two. Done that one, done that one. That's lovely for journaling on, isn't it? This definitely wants something on it. And so does that. Put the strawberry on the other one, didn't I, of that? So... Lovely bits and pieces in here from Happy Mail. I just don't think there's anything. Oh, there are some bits in here now. That's nice, isn't it? And I have got so these are from my die cuts. Um, what's that called? Like the negative. Yeah, I think it's called the negative. Oops, don't come out of there yet. I do like that one there. Maybe a label next to it. I'll make it a bit look like a specimen image. Oops. They don't have create some bits when you um cut them out, you know. Um 
die cut them, these die cuts. <laughs> the bits all over the floor was shocking. I had a little bit of a session doing some. Maybe that. Ornaments carved in wood, it says. Just going to make it a tiny, tiny bit shorter. Oops. Because I'm thinking I might put it down as a, again, a bit of a tuck. Put just both sides like a belly band. So it looks a bit like a specimen. Looks like it's describing that, doesn't it? No, I don't want anything that colour. Something brown in it. That's the same one. What do you say? You're too big. What else have we got? Oh, that's a nice little label. Look. Plainish label. That'd be lovely. Okie doke. Nearly done. Can't believe I've gone over my time again. Again, beautiful for journaling. This one maybe. You know, way too bright from there, aren't you? Mm. And we've got purples, pinks, and this needs gluing. I did pretty well using up my. Uh, bits and pieces off the desk though. I'm going to put another one of these tickets like I did in the front one, in the back one. So extra note making. Um, I don't think I want another one of those. I think I might leave it at that. I think you want to be in front of that with that bit. That bit showing. It's a lovely strong pocket that for, you know, putting lots of notes and papers in actually. Yeah, I think I think that will be called it. I will just put, um, while it's uploading, I'll just put some beads on there. And I might put one on this that's wrapping it up. Tying it up. Yeah, wrapping it up. Correct. And there we go. Can we call that a scrappy journal? I think we can. That needs doing a bit better, but I will. <laughs> Done it upside down. Okay, hope you enjoyed it while I speed crafted at the end or speed filled. Um, I just definitely enjoyed playing with the papers and just putting my needle back in there. And let's just have a look how many scraps I actually used up. Quite a lot. You know, compared to most scrappy projects. Yeah, used a lot of scraps up on that. On that. Okay, thank you so much. Um, I'll probably put a picture on at the end, you know, showing you the, the finished thing. And um, yeah, I'll see you Monday for another video. Bye for now.